Good morning gamers. Kevin, you're not qualified to make reviews. Kevin, you make drinking videos. Why the hell are you making noodle videos? Well, I'll tell you. I don't care what you think. No, I'm kidding, but anyway, I was in the grocery store, I was walking around, I've been looking for vegetables, I've been looking for brown rice, and because, you know, that's what I eat every freaking day. And then while I was buying juice, because I'm a juicer, lo and behold, I found Pasta Express for a whopping 12 pesos. 12 pesos for a meal! Holy crap, this is such a steal. So I took one bag because that's gonna be my cheat meal. And then I looked right next to it. There's a carbonara. So of course, Kevin had to fucking take that because I have to try the carbonara. Okay, there's two of these in my push cart. Kevin, this is not you. Kevin, are you going through an existential crisis? <laughs> and then I thought, thumbnail. I started grabbing three different other pastas that I could find and then try to make it a whole video for you guys. No one asked. Yes, so technically you guys are seeing me punish myself. I am not the fittest person in the world. But I'm getting there, so I deserve a fucking cheat meal. I am doing OMAD for like two months now and it's going pretty well, I'm pretty happy. But for this week only, I am feeling a little bit gutsy. And bump it up to... 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 to, 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 to. So there's eight items, three milk teas, five pastas. So I bought mac and cheese, baked mac, curly spaghetti, a normal spaghetti, spe sweet spaghetti, and then carbonara. For the milk teas, I bought chocolate, winter melon, and I don't even know the third one, I don't remember. So there are actually two brands for the pasta. There's Lucky Me, and then there's Express something, whatever. So I'm gonna try Lucky Me first, because these are the ones that I'm not excited about, and I'm gonna start with the most scary looking one. It doesn't look like it's gonna be great. But again, don't worry, I have a second meal today. So I'm I'm not gonna starve. That was kind of lame. Mac and cheese, this is the one. I don't know if you guys want to see me film make this because this is really straightforward. I think this is not gonna go well. Look at this. One plastic bag. It looks like actual like made in China toys. I paid quite a bit for this. So here's the mac and cheese. Uh, no. I thought this would be a lot smaller, which is why I got a tiny ass plate. Turns out the pasta actually did expand, which is why it looks enormous in my tiny plate. But I'm also kind of struggling to, to, to stir it all up. Oh dear. Oh, this is a nasty. Yeah. If you guys are gonna eat this, get a bowl. This is pretty rough. This is the mac and cheese. Now, while making this, I was thinking, I should probably add ham. I actually have ham in my freezer. But then I remembered, no, no, no. This is a food review. Stay professional, Kevin. Stay within the game, Kevin. If you add ham, it's a disadvantage to the other pastas. Oh shit. It doesn't need ham because it already has meat inside. Mystery meat. <laughs> where did you come from, baby? It's so tangy. Like, where does, where does this come from? I expected it to be creamy and, you know, cardboardy, but for some reason, I'm getting so much tanginess. Did they add calamansi or some shit? Whatever it is, man. It's fucking killer. Mm. Maybe it's just because I haven't had instant pasta, instant noodles, whatever, in like two months. Overall, this is way better than I expected. I thought it would be a lot worse. I thought it would be like cardboard mac and cheese, you know, that shit. Which, stay away from that, by the way. Also, the review's not over. I rate this a 6 out of 10. I would probably get it again if I want mac and cheese. I never really crave mac and cheese, but if I were to crave mac and cheese, really, really freaking good. I just got whatever is in my refrigerator. I got milk tea chocolate, which is probably the worst looking one in my opinion out of the three, but it's also made for kids. And mac and cheese is for kids. Chocolates for kids. Should I pull up Disney Junior or some shit to <laughs> If you guys don't know C2, they're actually known for making teas. Not really milk tea, but I don't know. Oh shit, I'm looking at it. And apparently, it's not a transparent container. There you go. Cheers, boys. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. I can describe this to you precisely. This is not chocolate milk tea. This is literally just chocolate milk. It's bad chocolate milk. Stick with your powdered chocolate powders. It tastes nothing like milk tea. Ugh, just give me some of that. Fix my disappointment. Mm. Oh my god. Again, what really scares me is this mystery meat. What the fuck is in it? Two out of ten. That's the best I can give it. If I wasn't so impressed by this mac and cheese, I would be giving it a 1. Trash. Dumpster fire. Dog sh- I paid 25 pesos for- Did- I could be getting two of these instead of one bottle. Good morning, gamers. So today I decided not to eat the baked mac. I kind of want like a spaghetti or some shit. But I said we're still in the Nissan phase. So we're going to have to settle with curly spaghetti. Now curly spaghetti looks like just pancit canton with spaghetti sauce. But it smells great though. I'm just starving to be honest. So does it look good? It kind of looks good. Mm. It's so chewy. And the sauce is just so good. 
Again, I don't know what's up with the, the tanginess in these. These are sweet and citrusy. I'm not complaining, dude. I'm not complaining. These are really, really good. Especially this one. This one's way better than mac and cheese. Where's this mystery meat coming from? Mystery meat, you're so good to me. Wait, what the fuck? Dude, I went to my fridge to get no tea. I got fucking two chocolates, dude. Oh, I thought I got caramel, dude. Fuck it, I'll deal with it. I'm gonna shake it up. Maybe it'll help. Fuck, man. I don't want any... <laughs> dude, I don't want milk tea chocolate, dude. Don't get this. You're better off just drinking Chucky, to be honest. This is actually heaven, dude. It's like you want to make spaghetti, but you're Asian. So you, you deal with whatever you have. I can't wait to compare this to Pasta Express, to be honest. Dude, I'm so tempted to get another pack. I want to get two now, but I don't eat instant noodles, dude. I'm healthy, dude. Healthy, strong boy, dude. I rate that a 9 out of 10. I don't care what you say. Too high, too low, don't give a shit. It's not perfect. I actually finished the plate in like less than three minutes. It's not salty. I don't know how the others can top this, to be honest. Tomorrow, I'm going to eat the Baked Mac and then the Pasta Express. I only have like three left. Dude, my cheat meals. Good morning, gamers. Today, I'm having a great day. The first thing I noticed about the Baked Mac is that, yeah, the color is a lot more red. This is the last Lucky Me noodle, by the way, I'm, which I'm really happy about because I'm not excited for Baked Macs, to be honest. I was kind of craving for a pasta today, but like, we have to finish all of the lucky me stuff that i bought also the camera it looks really white but it's a lot more orange here cheers gang for some reason this is a lot cheesier than the mac and cheese wow 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 winter melon milk tea i love winter melon and if this doesn't taste like winter melon i'll be pretty sad it's very watery it's not it's not great this is also a two out of ten if this wasn't great i would be giving it a fucking zero I think I gave the mac and cheese a 6. I'll give this a 7, dude. Just one point above it. It's a lot less citrusy than the last two. Like the mac and cheese that I had a few days ago, it genuinely tasted like someone got a lemon and then squeezed all the juice. This is pretty lit. Like this is this is something that... Oh, mother... F well, fuck, my mouse pad's dirty. I'm just gonna hold it from now on. I was pretty relaxed, pretty groovy, pretty greasy, dude. Ah, yeah, no, fuck that. Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot more mystery meat in this one because it was a bake mac, so. This tastes a lot better compared to the mac and cheese. It's comparable to the one yesterday, but yesterday's was way better than this one, dude. I'm gonna finish this. Seven out of 10, that's bussin'. This shit, what did I give it again? Two? No, no, no. Like, I'm not joshing, dude. This is like worse than the mil chocolate milk. It's straight up water. Nah, dude. Nah. I paid 25 for this. Are you fucking kidding me? So one C2 is equal to two noodle packets and, and two C2s is equal to one can of milk tea. So I'm gonna give this a one out of 10. Fuck that shit. You know what? I'm feeling a little bit harsh now. There's less mac and cheese in my body. I'm gonna give it a zero out of 10. Never get it, dude. No, don't, don't, don't even bother, dude. It's not unbearable. It's just that you can buy anything else. It would give you a lot more happiness than this trash C2 milk tea, dude. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow with Pasta Express, which I'm really excited about. Today's the first day we don't have any milk tea. Totally fine, guys. The milk teas were terrible anyway. Today is Pasta Express day. We have two Pasta Expresses. Today I got the carbonara because I'm more excited about the spaghetti, to be honest. I already mixed it up and cooked it, and you guys may be wondering, Kevin, what's up with this fancy bowl? It's not because of presentation or bias, okay? It's because the fucking sauce packets were so complicated, dude. There was a sauce, there was a powder, there's a third powder, what the fuck? And I'm like, dude, I can't mix all of this in my regular flat plate. So I had to upgrade it a little bit. Carbonara Pasta Express. And I have to say, this is a lot mushier than the other pastas. Cheers, gang. Dude, holy shit. I made this? <laughs> Oh my god, this has to be the fastest carbonara I've ever made. Or even the first carbonara I've ever made. I tried making carbonara once and then Gordon Ramsay threw it in the trash can. So clearly I don't know how to make carbonara. Until today, I can officially tell Gordon Ramsay, screw you, I can make carbonara, look at this. And he's gonna taste it and he'll be like, I can't believe I paid 12 pesos for this. This is insane. Although I'm not gonna lie, if I had to compare this with the second day spaghetti, I would be lying if I said this is better. That curly spaghetti, everyone needs to try that shit, dude. Holy mother. But this is obviously the second best, okay? I give this a 7.5 out of 10. It tastes incredible, it's a great carbonara, but if I had a few extra pesos, I would probably just get like two lucky spaghettis. I cannot wait to try out Pasta Express's spaghetti. Is it gonna be curly spaghetti? Is it gonna be the best pasta out of everything else? Because honestly, I did not expect much from the curly spaghetti, but it turned out to be fucking bomb, dude. This is great though. I would, uh, I would probably get another one of these. It's so chewy. I don't know if it, if it was the way I cooked it or something. I finished the bowl. 
I'm gonna go grab some water, make some coffee. I'll see you guys tomorrow with the Pasta Express, baby. Sorry, I could barely hold my excitement. Good morning, gamers. This is the last day. And I have to say, this is the best visually appealing, like, pasta that we've had so far. Probably just because it actually looks like spaghetti. And it smells amazing, guys. It smells really, really good. And I'm really excited to eat this. But first, coffee. Today is gonna be a long day. We're gonna be streaming for a bit. We're gonna be playing some Apex. So I gotta drink some coffee to wake myself up. All right, gang. Pasta Express spaghetti. Here we go. Oh my god. Mm. I genuinely believe I probably overcooked the pasta yesterday. This is the exact same like noodles from yesterday and these are springy. These are chewy, dude. Holy cow. This sauce is fantastic, dude. Mm. It's probably the Filipino side of me that really likes sweet, savory pasta. This is so good. This is like, this is without a doubt S tier instant pasta now of course i haven't tried very many like instant pastas i've only tried instant noodle but this is so good so good now i have to think long and hard about this i think that pasta express is a nine but but i'm gonna give lucky spaghetti a 9.5 i don't give a shit i'm gonna bump it up right there dude give it the 0.5 that it needs dude this shit is amazing if i have to compare this and lucky spaghetti dude lucky spaghetti wins holy shit what a plot twist i did not think that lucky spaghetti will be the best one out of all of these now let's rate these okay lucky spaghetti number one pasta express spaghetti number two carbonara number three bake mac number four and mac and cheese number five actually wait i don't remember about the bake mac let's do some editing kevin as for the milk teas, dog shit, dog shit, dog shit. I don't give a shit about sponsorships, dude. C2, if you ever want to sponsor me, dude, let me, the Taiwanese person that I am, come to your factory and fix your milk teas. Unacceptable, dude. Guess what I found, guys? Milk tea caramel. Of course, I'm not excited about this. Normally, if I'm really lazy, I'll just skip this part. I, I wouldn't buy this, but because I want this video to be completed, I had to buy this. Oh, why is it so hard to open? There we go. Fuck's sake, man. Wait. This is not bad. This is actually not bad. Dude, I almost skipped out on this one. Did, did you guys think I'm joking, but it's actually pretty good. Holy... Wow. Uh, okay. I guess my rating of this one would be probably a 3.5. That's probably my rating. This is the best one out of the three. But I would never get this again. But I'm surprised though. This is actually way better than the other two. Winter Mountain's the worst one, for sure. All right, well, that's it for my spaghetti review, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed the video. Comment down below if you guys have any game, food, any suggestions, dude. Subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys with another video on this channel. I don't really know what we're making over here, dude. Peace out.